Welcome back to K KUTV. I'm teacher Mary from KBS School Mazua. I'll be taking you through English under the theme scientific innovations. Substrate is corrective nouns. We shall start by knowing what are nouns. Nouns, as we all know, nouns are naming words. Nouns are naming words, a name of a place, a name of a thing, or a name of a person, that is a noun. Let's go to the types of nouns that we know before we go to our substrate, corrective nouns. Number one, type of noun, types of nouns. We have proper nouns. Proper nouns. Proper nouns. These are nouns that are given to specific people, all place, e.g., rivers and mountains. Proper nouns given to specific things, all people, e.g., mountain, rivers name of a person like Mary. We also have common nouns. Number two, we have common nouns. I know you all know what are common nouns. Common nouns is a general term of name of a person or a thing, e.g. a paper, a pencil, a man, a fruit, etc. Those are common nouns. They give a general name for a something. We have a type of noun number three. That is concrete noun. Co from the word concrete, this is something that you can touch, something that you can feel, that something that you can hear, and that something that you can touch that can be a pen, milk, saliva, etc. Anything you can touch, feel, ta uh, feel, smell, or taste, that is a concrete noun. From the word concrete, you can touch, concrete. We have nouns, types of noun number four. We have the abstract nouns. Abstract nouns, these are things that you cannot see, but you show emotions or feelings. You show emotions or feelings. There are times you feel you are sad and you feel like you need to cry. That is called an abstract noun, sadness. Sadness is an abstract noun. You cannot touch sadness. But you can, on, you can only you can only feel you can only feel lonely you can only feel sadness honesty you cannot see but you can feel you are you are honesty these are this shows emotions or ideas abstract nouns we go to noun number five let's slide first abstract nouns abstract nouns. We are just highlighting the nouns that we know so that we can go back to our topic, corrective nouns. Noun number five, countable nouns. Countable nouns. These are nouns that you can count. A dog, three dogs, four dogs. Those are nouns that you can count. A pen, I have three pens here. Those are count something that you can count. Countable nouns. Countable nouns. We have a type of noun, number six, we call uncountable nouns. From the word uncountable, it is something that you cannot count. These are the things that we cannot count. We have milk. You cannot count milk. Neither can you count ink, water. You cannot count millet, 
all soil. You can't. Those are called uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Well done, well done. We are through with the types of nouns that we know. We go to the last one, the corrective noun, which is our substrate today, corrective nouns. I'm having something here. I am having something here. I don't know what to call it. Yes, you know it. This is a loaf of bread. It is, there are many Roves, uh, they're, 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 the bread has so many slices, but in one name, we call them, we call it a loaf of bread. I have some. I have another thing here. Yes. You know it? Yes, a bar of chocolate, a bar of chocolate, a bar of chocolate. It, is, it contains so many chocolate inside, but we call it with one name, a bar of chocolate. What are corrective nouns? What are corrective nouns? Very good. As we have seen from the examples given, yes, from the examples given, corrective nouns are words which name a group of people, animals, Plants or things feel, viewed as a single unit. Example of uh, examples of corrective nouns: We have a crowd of people, a fleet of vehicles, a ream of paper, a reel of film. All those we call them corrective nouns. They are in a group. These are words which name a group of people, animals, plants, all things viewed as a single unit. We also need to identify, to identify the corrective nouns in the passage that, you'd be, you, you, that is given. We have our class, as I read, let me, yes, as I, tell me the, the corrective nouns that are given in the passage below. Our class, had set off for a trip to the park. Along the way, we passed a fleet of tourist vehicles uh, headed to, towards the park as well as well. It was the holiday season anyway. At the entrance, we were met by troops of monkeys and we were advised to leave them at the gate. It was an offense to feed the animals in the park, we saw many animals, but it is the pride of lions that awed us most. We captured the spectacular trip in the whole album of pictures. Number one, we have uh, the, 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 the corrective noun for the class. A class is a group of pupils, but they are given one name, class. Then the next one, we have a fleet of tourist vehicles. So many vehicles, so many vehicles lining up, we call them a fleet of vehicles. We also have a troop of monkeys, a troop of monkeys. These are many monkeys. A troop of monkeys, we call it is a corrective noun. We were advised to leave the gate. It was an offense to feed the animals in the park with so many animals. It was a pride of lions. The words in red, they are corrective nouns. Pride of lions that awed us most. We captured the spectacular trip in a whole album of pictures. From the, from the passage, we can see there are many corrective nouns, e.g. a class of pupils, a class of pupils, a fleet of tourists, a fleet of tourists, a troop of monkeys, a troop of monkeys, an album of pictures, a pride of lions, a pride of lion. 
in our in our substrate we have subdivided the corrective nouns into three groups group number one they are corrective nouns of people they are corrective noun of people very good a, a, we have a band of men correct a band of men we say a band of men a cast of actors these are many actors as a group, we call them a cast of actors. We have a stack of librarians, a stack of librarians. These are many librarians together. We call them a stack of librarian. A sentence of judges. We can say a bench of judges or a sentence of judges, many judges sitting together or have uh, when many judges are together, we call them a sentence of judges or a bench of judges. A, character, a galaxy of beauties. When we have so many beautiful girls, we call them a galaxy of beauties. We have a bevy of girls. When many girls are together, when many girls join, maybe in a party, in a class, we call them a bevy of girls. We have a choir of singers. In a church, we all know we have choir. The choir members, we call them a, a choir of singers. We also have the, the corrective nouns. That is a group of animals that shows animals in one name, viewed as one name, like a colony of girls, a colony of girls, a brood of hens, a brood of hens, a flock of turkeys, a flight of birds, a group of guinea pigs, a litter of cubs, a kennel of dogs, a, a sloth of bears, from the word a colony of girls. When the girls there are many, we call them a colony. When the hens are in a, in, wherever they are, they are called a brood of hens, a flight of birds. When birds are flying, we call them a flight of birds. A flock of turkey. When there are many, we say a flock of turkey, a flock of sheep. We have a flock of guinea pigs. Many guinea pigs, they are called a flock of guinea pigs. A litter of cubs. When the cubs, the, the, the lion, the young of the lion, a lion is called a cub. When there are many, we call them a litter of cubs. We also have a kennel of dogs. Remember a house of dog is called a kennel. But when dogs are many, we call them, we call them a kennel of dogs. A kennel of dogs. A sloth of bears. A sloth of bears. A slot of bears. These are bears that are many. When bears are many in one place, we call them a sloth of bears. We also have the next one. We have the, the corrective nouns for the for things that we have. E.g., a batch of cakes. A batch of cakes. A batch. When we present many cakes together. They're in one place, e.g. in a wedding. We can say, this is a batch of cakes. A batch of cake, a group of one thing. A batch of cakes. We also have a bottle of milk. A bottle of milk. A bottle of milk. A bottle of milk. When mi we, we, milk is in an uncountable nouns, but when we put it in a bottle, it is as one single unit. We view it as a one single unit. We call it a bottle of milk. We also have a, a bowl of lies. A bowl of lies. A bowl of lies. A bowl of lies. When you are given a plate of rice, we call it a bowl of rice.
and rice. Then we go to the next one. We have a box. We have a box of cereals. A box of cereals. A box of cereals. Cereals we have grains like wheat, like millet, like maize. Those are a box. When you give in a box, we view it as a single unit called a box of cereals. We also have another one we call a can of soda. We take soda in cans. A can of soda. This soda is also in a uncountable nouns. But when we put it in a can, we don't call it now. Uh, we don't count it as in uncountable nouns. We call, we now frame it into corrective nouns, calling it a can of soda. It is viewed viewed as a single unit. We have again a carton of milk, a carton of milk. When we put milk in a carton, packets in a carton, we call it in a single word, a carton of milk. We have a cup of tea, a cup of tea. When we put tea in a cup, which is no longer in uncountable noun, it is in corrective noun, a cup of tea, a cup of tea. Now, let us go through and look at corrective nouns. They have singular and plural forms. Corrective nouns, they have singular and plural forms. Yes, corrective nouns, we have singular and plural forms. Yes, number one, we have the crowd. Crowd is a group of people. Crowd is a group of people who are in a place. Maybe they are watching something. We call them a crowd of people. We have the plural for the word crowd. Singular. Plural. Singular for the word crowd is crowds. Singular for the word frit. Singular for the word frit, we say frits. We have another one. Singular for the word read, real. Real, real. We say reels. We have another singular for the word rim. God rims. If you look at this. Corrective nouns, they have their plurals. E.g., crowd, we say crowds. Frit, frits. Real, reels. Lim, limbs. Very good, very good. Now, we are going to look at, we are going to look at different ways, different ways of classifying the corrective nouns. Different ways of classifying the correct nouns. After I write, you will tell me. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. We shall look at what do we call a pack we say a pack of, we say a pack of, yes, we say we have a pack of cards. We say we have a pack of cards.
Answer these questions, corrective nouns. We say we have a pack of cards. Is this, is it classified according to people, things, all animals? You will, you will answer. Is it classified according to things, people, all animals? Yes. Is it classified according to things, pack or cards, uh, animal? Or is it classified according to things, animals, all? Is it classified according to people? Number two, we have a bundle of pencils. A bundle of pencils. bundle of pencils. We have a galaxy of stars. We have a pride of lions. We have A convoy, a convoy of vehicles. A caravan of camels. Let us look first at the corrective nouns. Number one, a pack of cards. It's classified according to things. Well done. A bundle of pens. It's classified as a, it is classified as a group of things. Of things again, because the, a pen, there are things. We have a galaxy of stars, a galaxy of stars. We have stars, there are also things. A pride of lions, these are animals. A convoy of vehicles, a convoy of vehicles, a convoy of vehicles, these are things. We have a caravan of camels. A caravan of camels. This is a, these are animals. Let's go back and check. You classify according to the type of nouns as we had discussed. You d describe the type of nouns as we had discussed. Remember we had said, Remember we had said we have we have number 1 we have proper nouns We also said we have common nouns Number 3 we had said we have countable nouns. Number four, of course, we said we have uncountable nouns. Number five, we said we have abstract nouns. Number six, we said we have concrete nouns.
If I shall give a question, then you shall tell me whether it belongs to a common, accountable, an uncountable, an abstract, an concrete, or a proper noun. Number one. We say Mount Kenya is a mountain. Which type of a noun is this? This is Mount Kenya is a mountain. Mount Kenya and a mountain. Mount Kenya is a proper noun. Whereas mountain is a common noun for any mountain. Mount Kenya is a mountain. Mount Kenya is a proper noun. Whereas mountain is a common noun. Jerry walked on foot. Jerry is the name of a person. While on foot is a common name for a food. So Jerry is a common, is a proper noun. While as food is a common noun. Jerry is a proper noun. While as food is a common noun. We ate four biscuits. We ate four biscuits. I know you understand now what are nouns. You can already see. We have a noun here. The noun is biscuit. How many did we eat? Four. This is a countable noun. We ate four biscuits. We ate four biscuits. Well done. Now we go to the next one. My mother bought a soda. My mother bought a soda. A soda is an uncountable noun. We cannot, we cannot count how many, how many sodas, but we can only say the uh, soda is an uncountable noun. Soda is an uncountable noun. We have. I love chicken. I love chicken. I love chicken. We are, can you identify a noun from the word, from the sentence? I love chicken. I love chicken. Love. Very good. Love is a common, it's an abstract noun. We cannot touch, nor can we feel chicken. I love chicken. I love chicken. Chicken is an abstract noun. Abstract noun. Then we go to number six. We have concrete noun. We have concrete noun. Concrete nouns. These are nouns that you can touch. These are nouns that you can touch. I have a duster. I have a duster. I have a duster. A duster is a concrete noun. A duster is a concrete noun. You can touch, you can see it, and you can feel that you can. Since there is a duster, I love a duster. Duster is a concrete, a concrete, you have a concrete noun. Da, a duster is a concrete noun. Now we have 
we go back to our corrective noun. Corrective nouns. We said a corrective nouns, we can identify corrective noun which are viewed as a single unit, which are viewed as a single unit. We have a, a fleet of vehicles, a fleet of vehicles. When there are many, we don't have any other word that we can, there are no plural. We have a fleet of vehicles. Number one, we have the People, we have uh, animals and people. We can classify them into three. We say it, number one, we have a band of men band of men. I met a band of men while going home. A band of men. We say a bench of judges. A bench of judges. When judges are many, we say a bench of judges. A, a caravan of travelers. A caravan of travelers. A caravan of travelers. A band of men, a bench of judges, a caravan of travelers, and a congregation of worshippers. A congregation of worshippers. When people are in a church, we don't we in one name we call them a congregation of worshippers. We have now, we go now to animals. Let us get as many corrective nouns as we can. Number one, we have a pride of lions. As we all know, we have a pride of lions. Number two, we have we can say, as we had said, a brood of hens, a brood of hens, a brood of hens. Number four, we had said, when the birds are many, they are called a fright, a fright of birds, a fright of birds. A fright of birds. Number four, number four, we have, number four, we have a flock of turkey, a flock of turkey, a flock of turkey, a flock of turkey, a flock of turkey. Number five, turkeys. Number five, we have a group of guinea pigs. Animals, a group of guinea pigs. Number six, we have a litter of cubs. A litter of cubs. Number seven, we have a kennel of dogs. A kennel of dogs. A kennel of dogs. We have, uh, we can also have this one, it was supposed to be people. Then we have things here. A bouquet of flowers, a bouquet of flowers.
Then we have another, when we are using corrective nouns, we can still get so many things from corrective nouns. We have, we have, we can also say a box of serious, as we had said, a box of serious. Box of serious. Number three, we have a packet of flour. A packet of flour. A packet of flour. A packet of flour is that thing. We have, you also have a bottle, a bottle, a bottle, a bottle of milk. And number five, we have a can of soda, a can of soda. A can of soda. Number six, we have, we have a box of, a box of books. And you can also say a shelf, a shelf, a shelf of books. A shelf of books. A shelf of books. Number eight. We have number eight. We have a cup of tea. From here now, we can construct sentences using the corrective nouns. From what we have, we can construct sentences using what we have. The corrective nouns of people, animals, and things. Yes, well done. A band of men. I had said, I met a band of men. 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 I met, I met a band of men. Well done. Number two, we can say, in the court, we saw a bench of judges. In the court, number two, in the court, we met a bench of judges. In the court, we met a bench of judges. Number three, number three, a caravan of travelers. We can say, as we were going home from school, we met a caravan of travelers. As we were going home, we met a caravan of travelers. We met a caravan of travelers. We met a caravan of travelers. Let's continue as we group animals. We can construct sentences using the uh, corrective nouns given. A pride of lions. A pride of lions. We can say uh, in the park, in the Nairobi National Park, or in the park, we saw a pride of lions. In the park, we saw a pride of lions. In the park, we saw a pride of lions. We saw a pride of lions. 
We can also say a brood of hen. My mother has a brood of hens. We can say my mother has a brood of hens. My mother has a brood of hens. My mother has a brood of hens. We can also, we have a fright of birds. A fright of birds. Construct a sentence using a fright of birds. When we were going home, we saw a fright of birds. Or Joroge saw a fright of birds. Joroge saw a fright of birds. Joroge saw. A fright of birds. A flock of turkeys. A flock of turkeys. A sentence using a flock of turkeys. A sentence. Construct a sentence using a flock of turkeys. My mother layered a flock of turkeys. My mother layered a flock of turkey. All my parents layered a flock of turkeys. A group of guinea pigs. A group of guinea pigs. A group of guinea pigs. I saw a group of guinea pigs in the wild. I saw a group of guinea pigs. I saw a group of guinea pigs in the wild. I saw a group of guinea pigs. In the wild. A kennel of dogs. A kennel of dogs. What do we say about a kennel of dogs? When dogs are many, Othiambo was chased by a kennel of dogs. 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 Odhiambo was chased by a kennel of dogs. Let's go to the last part of things. A, a bouquet of flowers. We construct a sentence using a bouquet of flowers. Miriam was given a bouquet of flowers by her parents, Miriam, was given a bouquet of flowers a bouquet of flowers by her parents. A box of series. My mother or my aunt bought a box of series. My aunt bought a box of series. My aunt bought a box of series. A packet of flour. My dad Blow, brought a packet of flour. My dad brought my dad, my father. We don't say my father brought a packet of flour. My father brought a packet of flour. We have a bottle of milk. 
a bottle of milk. I a bottle of milk. We can construct a sentence using a bottle of milk. A bottle of milk. Kamau drank a full bottle. A full bottle of milk. Kamau drank a full bottle of milk. Kamau drank a full bottle of milk. We have a can of soda, a can of soda. Yesterday, I took a can of soda. Yesterday, I took a can of soda. You can also say something about a can of soda. I saw a can of soda in the dusty bin. I saw, I saw a can of soda in the dusty bin. Number four, we have a box or a shelf of books. A shelf of books. A shelf of books. Our teacher has a shelf of books. Our teacher has a shelf of books. Our teacher has a shelf of books. We have the last one. We have the last one. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. I drank a cup of tea in the morning. I drank a cup of tea in the morning. I'll be giving you some questions. You fill in about corrective nouns. Once you get, I'll give you a bar of chocolate or a loaf of bread, which I have here. Number one. Okay. We have two questions. I shall give you only two questions. Once you get, you get a bar of chocolate or a loaf of bread. We say, what of he? We say, yes, good. A stack of he. A dash of books. A dash of books. We say, a library of books. A library of books. Or a set of, <laughs> no, a library of books. Thank you for being with me. You are able to learn all the nouns that we have, majorly on corrective nouns. May God bless you. Let's meet again next time. Bye.